Meet Bicycle! Hello everybody! Welcome back to Borderlands 2 Ultimate Vault Hunter Mode Legendary Run. We are here in the Bloodshot Stronghold for this episode and we are going to be going after the Splinter Group for the Legendary Grenade, the Stormfront. So, straight away I'm going to show you exactly how to get there, exactly how to do this farm. So you're going to hit this first area here in Bloodshot Stronghold as you run from the fast travel. Jump down into the sewers, through this pipe and uh, you're just going to make your way all the way over here through all these rats and things like that. It's quite annoying but uh, you've got to get them anyway. So there is no actual dedicated speed farming process for this really but there is a secret boss to spawn in and uh, there is a fast way of getting him to spawn and I'll show you guys that now. So once you get to the end drop down into the rat's, net, rat's nest and uh, as long as you've spawned these guys in before following the mission um, then you can farm them as many times as you want. So there are four rats in total to kill here. Um, they come out, you shoot them, if you don't kill them straight away they'll disappear uh, but they'll come back later on. But uh, as you can see, they uh, drop a bit of money and now and again they'll drop a weapon. But most of the time they just don't drop anything at all. This last guy here as well is quite hard to kill. So uh, once you take him out, he'll probably appear somewhere here any second now. You'll see him, there he is. So uh, we'll get him down as well. And uh, oh, very nice. Thank you for the health. So absolutely nothing as you can see there. Once they're down, run through into the next area and we've got a nice big red doll chest to pick up straight away as we get in here. But uh, this is the area where we spawn the secret boss. Uh, in fact, he comes out just over here. So to spawn him in, you've got five red lights above you just here. And uh, no, nothing at all there. So basically, there are four different parts here. There's a lever to pull there, a little switch on the wall to pull, a button on the prelly to pre telly to press, and a valve here uh, on a pump to turn. So every time you do one of uh, these processes, it will light up a different light. And then if you do another one, it will probably take a light away and add two more there. Basically, you've got to get the right combination to get all four, five, sorry, of these lights on. And I will show you that right now. So it's basically as easy as six steps. One turn of this valve, two pushes of that button on the telly, three pulls of the switch on the wall. It's that simple. So one turn, that will light two lights up. Two pushes of the button. That'll light five up and then three pulls to the lever and that'll do that and then finally on the third pull all five lights and as you can see there is Flinter so that is exactly how easy it is to actually do that and uh, he will spawn there every single time uh, and also you uh, it is an extra chance of getting the uh, storm front so that's four rats and one secret boss that will get you the chance to get the storm front all within that little route and of course like I said there is that nice little dial chest to pick up as well. So we're going to continue to farm these guys as many runs as it takes to uh, actually get them to drop anything. Um, so uh, yeah we'll go ahead and do that now. So while I'm doing that I'll explain uh, what all these guys are about. So basically the rats, the four rats that we come across first are uh, references to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, directly so uh, of course in there you've got Donatello, Raphael, Michelangelo and um, Leonardo and uh, these rats are pretty much named after them but uh, shortened a little bit and changed so uh, as you can see straight away we have Lee so that's uh, the ver their version of Leonardo um, and oh my god second run we got a drop wow I'm not gonna have much chance to explain what I was going on about. Let's kill all the other guys. Let's, in fact, no. Let's uh, let's drop that straight away um, there. And uh, I had a Stormfront on earlier that I was practicing with. So, we have got the drop. Um, oh, he's there. Damn it. So, yeah, like I was saying, um, the fourth guy appears out of there. Let's go ahead and pick it up. So, uh, yeah, like I said, um, Leonardo, Raphael, Michelangelo and uh, Donatello... And uh, these four rats are named after them in a way. So there's Ralph and there's Mick. Uh, there's also Lee and... Lee, Ralph, Mick and Dan. So uh, they're directly named after the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Basically it's a little Easter egg. And uh, also this boss over here um, is also um, a reference as well. He's called Flinter. And I believe there's like that big rat thing in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It's been a lot of years since I watched it, but I'm pretty sure he was called Splinter. 
Um, he was kind of like the head of the pack, really, wasn't he? The, the old wise guy. Um, and, uh, yeah, these guys here um, are all called after them. So that is basically it anyway. So uh, let's have a little overview of the Stormfront, because I want to absolutely wreck um, Flinter with these Stormfronts. So uh, a little bit of an overview for you guys now. I can't believe we got it in two runs. That is crazy. Um, there you go. Nice Vladoff um, shock grenade called the Stormfront. Uh, something, sorry, sometimes lightning does not strike twice is the red text. It's got all that electrocute damage per second. Um, got a nice blast radius as well. So basically when you chuck this grenade over, say, here, it'll settle. It'll shoot out a load of like lightning rods that'll stick in the floor and they will just sit there electrocuting the hell out of enemies. Um, it strips shields really well, but it also just sits there and basically damage over times um, whatever is in your way um, until it runs out and it lasts quite a while as well. So we're going to go ahead and spawn this guy in and then I'm going to gun zerk and uh, I'm, I want to get 10 grenades actually. But I'm going to gun zerk and chuck two grenades out at a time and uh, yeah, at the minute this guy's going to get 18 grenades flying at him but uh, I can't find any more. I just want to see if we can find any more grenades. Any fly out of there? No, so he's going to get 18 grenades flying at him. Uh, yeah, and we'll kill him there. I can't believe we got that in such a little amount of time as well. That was quite funny, actually. So uh, let's get this going. Let's get three levers pulled. And then I'll show you a demonstration of these grenades in action. So let's just chuck them all over there. So he has got a shield as well. You'll see that start to get stripped very well. There you go. His shield's completely off already. And... Uh, yeah, he's just getting absolutely nailed with grenades here. So I'm going to try and not get myself killed here. But uh, yeah, there you go. As you can see, absolutely destroying him. Any minute now, he's going to go down. And uh, there he is. So uh, yeah, that is the legendary Stormfront grenade. Anyway, guys, in two runs. So uh, what I was going to say before I started all this as well was uh, that if... Um, uh, yeah, if we didn't get it very well, um, we are in the third week now. This is the first day of the third week of uh, these farms. And um, I was, uh, yeah, week two was really bad. We didn't do much filming in week two. I got most of my episodes, first 10 or 11 episodes, done in week one. So this is week two now. And, um, uh, sorry, week three. Week two was apparently dire for drop rates. Um, we saw a little bit of it with the Logan's gun, but I think we was quite lucky on there. But I've been looking at the uh, Gearbox software forum and uh, they, a lot of people in there have, um, made, there's a thread about it, and a lot of people in there have said it was absolutely a really dire for drop rates. So uh, hopefully week three we are into now, we'll have a bit more luck with it. Uh, I'm pretty sure, I don't think they'll do this, the amazing drop rates that we had in week one again. But today they have been adjusted once more and... Uh, yeah, hopefully they'll be a bit better. They'll have taken the feedback from week one, yeah, from week two, sorry, and said, right, we need to give these guys better drop rates this week. So uh, we'll turn it up a little bit. So uh, yeah, our farms now from this episode onwards for a few episodes are all going to be um, in week three. So drop your uh, drop your comments down below uh, if you like this uh, grenade. If you use it a lot, I do personally use it quite a lot. I've used it a lot in the pre sequel as well. And uh, the next boss we're going to farm, let me think, will probably be in the, I think the next area to go to is the dust. Yes, the dust. So I think we're going to go after Mobley and Gettle in the dust next. Or do I? No, 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 no. We're going to go after McNally. We're going to go after McNally in the dust. That is the guy when you spawn in, you go straight on towards the, uh, the uh, Hodunk racetrack. And um, he's just down the side there. Nice quick one for us there. So we're, we'll go after McNally next. And uh, yeah, basically see what if we can get ourselves a hammer buster. So next episode, McNally for the hammer duster. Drop down your guesses below. And once again, we'll be in week three of recording. So uh, we're not going to get the awesome drop rates we got in week one. So uh, just remember that when you're having a guess of how many runs you think it'll take. But for now... We are, uh, yes, we are loving the fact two runs of the rats for this Stormfront. And uh, believe it or not, that is the first time I've ever got a Stormfront from one of the rats. Normally, it's Flinter. So, uh, yeah, I'm really happy with that now. But, uh, yeah, for now, thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you're enjoying this series. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode.